Hello and welcome to the Stampin' Sunday Block Hop. It's Ruth here at Artful Stampin' and today we're looking at the Happiness Blooms Suite. It contains some really lovely images. It's got a bit of a retro vibe to it. And this stamp set is fabulous. It doesn't have any sentiment, so it is great for creating background pages or an accent on a card. It also has a lovely set of papers, for a set of four little flowers, which is great for adding accents to cards. And also this Memories and More card pack, as well as um, a, an embossing folder and some little accent um, stickers, epoxy stickers. So here are the a, a bit of a look at the sticker sheets from the Memories and More pack. I love this pack because I think if you're a beginner crafter, to be able to have all these different patterns at your disposal in these small little, you know, ready to go little sheets is so easy. The about six of them have some designs on them that have a bit of texture. They've, it looks like they've been embossed, which is really lovely too. So I decided to make um, a really easy, quick card for, for a beginner crafter. All you need to have is maybe a trimmer or scissors to cut down some card stock. And I started off with a three by six inch piece of card and then scored it down the middles to end up with this little three by three card base. Then I chose some coordinating coloured card. So I've got this lovely floral here, the stripe and that the kind of like scallop, almost like little half moon shapes. And then as I was cutting them down, I ended up with these little, you know, narrower bits that were really great for then adding and decorating, you know, a, pa a, a pattern that wasn't its pattern does that make sense so like a floor on the life like I've had to put the stripe onto this one here or I've put a stripe onto a floral or so bear that in mind when you are cutting down cardstock that if you are trimming it down you end up do end up with a little piece that would perfectly match and can be an accent on another card so I've used the smile sticker here and also some of those cute little they're almost like little joined up circles that they're, they're just really cute and really easy to use so this is the second one with that lovely retro feel or retro floral feel to it. And I didn't want to hide a lot of those florals because I think they're super fun. And you can see how easy it was just to put this together. I just stuck that little strip on, put the thank you sticker on. And here I am just putting a little bit of a dimensional on the back of the flower sticker to make it just pop a little bit more off the card. Now I can imagine you could use these cards for adding to perhaps a little bunch of flowers that you're going to give to somebody or just to add to a little gift and just to be able to write a little note on them. So this stripe is that lovely classic design and I thought it would be nice to break it up a little bit with that what I call the half moon, <laughs> half moon design. And then this time the hello sticker which again I decided to raise up a little bit by putting a, a piece of dimensionals on there. And as you can see, I use that edge bit that sometimes gets a little bit forgotten. So the lovely little floral stickers are great for just adding a little bit of accent to this. Now the products that you see me using are available via my blog, artfulstampin.co.uk and don't forget to grab the host code if you're going to be placing an online order. So these little cards match perfectly into the 3x3 three three little envelopes that you can purchase from the annual catalogue. And it's just so nice to have a coordinating little envelope that you don't have to make yourself. So for my second project, this is for the bit more of a casual crafter, so somebody who would have maybe the memories and more pack and the, the punches and is happy to spend a little bit more time on on a card so I decided to use one of the cards that had happy birthday written across it and to highlight it in a slightly different way so I really like this base card with the florals at the top and the bottom and yes I know I'm sticking it upside down but it doesn't matter because it's all going to get covered up so I trimmed down the other piece and then stuck it down so that the happy birthday went through the center of the card I used my grid paper 
in a way so that that would help me align it. So it is useful to have something with a grid behind your work if ever you do need to align sentiments or um, strips of paper across the card. And here I'm using the the strips that are available at the moment. Um, they are kind of designed to make shaker cards because they're a little bit extra thick and I really like them for creating extra dimension to a project. So as you can see I'm laying those two strips either side of that happy birthday and by having them raised up it's bringing sort of attention to the happy birthday that's then set back a little bit and typically we usually put sentiments on and have them raised up but I thought it'd be fun to have it set back instead. So these are the more daisy like looking flowers from that four punch set and I use the um, the little ball tip of the um, little tool there to create a bit more dimension to them. And then I'm using the sort of what I call the blue tack end, the tacky end of my uh, picky tool uh, to get those stuck on. Then to get the little epoxy stickers off I'm using the little pointy tip and adding some little yellow stickers or um, epoxy dots to to my design just to break up some of the space there. And there you have it, a really cute little card. Lots of lovely spring colours to that one. So for my third and final card, this one was going to be, uh, with, may, it has been made with a more avid crafter in mind who would perhaps have a few more supplies. So I decided to use the Bloom by Bloom stamp set and stamped out several of the leaf images. Now there isn't a die that matches this stamp set but it was really easy to cut out these elements because they're quite curvy and um, it, you know it took a few extra minutes but it was kind of worth it for what I wanted to do. So here I'm using the Stampin' Up snips, paper snips and I have to say these are so useful for fussy cutting. They are super duper sharp but they do come with their own cover and I do recommend that you keep hold of that little cover to keep them safe. So I cut out a couple of circles using the layering circles framelit dies and then I pre-cut some cardstock to, uh, to create a bit of a background and I just wanted a bit of a variation I didn't want to have the two to you know have it exactly the same so it was nice to be able to do two patterns on the cardstock also because I was creating a six by six card and I didn't have a six by six piece of pattern paper because it comes four by six so that's also partly the reason I needed to do it this way so as you saw I just colored in that white um, that little kind of like dotty strip so I colored that in with the granny apple green the same color that I'd stamped the leaves and then created that focal point by putting the smile sentiment on there and then use, again using those strips to adhere it to the main card. I then decided that the strips are a really good thickness to have them, the leaves standing away so I attached the sh sticky strips to the leaves. It's too much like hard work to try and attach them to the stem so I didn't even bother trying. So again I'm using that lovely daisy punch that's in that set and cutting out some Calypso coral card I then attached some of the small dimensionals to the backs of those and then clustered them together because I had such a large um, design in the background I thought how am I going to make these flowers stand out having a small flower against a big one it was very easy for that little flower to get lost so I decided to cluster them up together and then stick some of those lovely blue dots in the centre just to give them a bit of more interest. So here we are, the final three simple cards uh, for the beginner crafter, then this one for the more casual crafter, with a few more supplies in there, and then the final one, which is a little bit more um, detailed there. So thank you for joining me today. Don't forget to subscribe if this is the first time that you've um, seen my channel and you like what you see, please do subscribe. And here are a couple more videos um, for you to see. Um, making some use of some paper flowers. I do love them. So um, enjoy. Take care for now. Bye bye.